This video is a sample of a series of 16 plus physics topics, a list of which can be found on the website. Pulling the tablecloth from underneath the best crockery is a well-known party trick. For this demonstration I've only got our second best glasses. They're already full of water. You can see that if the paper is pulled gently all of the glasses come with it. The key in the trick, as I'm sure you know, is to pull the paper out quickly. Slowing the film down you can easily see how the speed is achieved. The explanation behind it is the idea of impulse and momentum. The key is that the force was only applied for a very short time. The same idea can be used to calculate the force in any collision. We know that momentum is equal to mass times velocity. If we multiply both the top and bottom of that expression by time, t, then recalling that acceleration is velocity divided by time, we can rewrite the expression as mass times acceleration times time. You'll remember that force is equal to mass times acceleration. So we can replace mass times acceleration in this expression by force. We're left with mv, the momentum, equals force times time. Force times time is called the impulse. And that, more precisely, is equal to the change in the momentum in a collision. We'll use this in an experiment measuring the average force in a collision. The setup is as follows. We're going to find the average force applied when a football is kicked. We have three things to measure. The mass of the ball, the speed of the ball as it moves away, and the time of impact. We'll measure the speed of the ball as it moves away by timing it over a distance of two meters, marked between two stakes stuck in the ground. The time of impact will be measured directly with a stopwatch. A complete revolution of the stopwatch hand is one second. It's marked in tenths of a second and ticks every twentieth of a second. The video has been slowed to one sixteenth of its proper speed. Checking that the stopwatch was started as the ball reached the beginning of the meter rule and also measuring the time as it reached the end of the meter rule. That time is 0.25 seconds. The mass of the ball, as you can see, is 170 grams, that is 0.17 kilograms. From a second camera, we can see the point of impact and the time for which the ball is kicked. and that time is only one twentieth of a second. In addition to these measurements, we'll remind ourselves that the initial speed is zero and that the ball travelled two metres in 0.25 seconds, giving a velocity of eight metres a second. The equation impulse equals change of momentum can be rearranged to give force equals change of momentum divided by time. Substituting our figures into this equation gives us a final result of 27.2 newtons. Our measurements were a bit rough and ready, but the technique is absolutely valid. It's a technique that can also be used in explosive situations such as rockets or jets firing. There is an example of this on another video in the series. Thank you for watching. Details of all the other videos in this series can be found on the website.